Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Namita and today I am going to talk about some life lessons which I wish I had learned earlier. These are the lessons which were never taught to me in my school or my college. I never witnessed these kind of things in my elders while growing up. So I have learned this life lessons, these life lessons in a very hard way after a lot of suffering, after a lot of emotional turmoil. But I thought I should share them with you so that maybe you will get some benefit out of it because I have learned it with a lot of pain. So these are certain things which I believe should be a part of our curriculum. But sadly, we don't have such a diversified curriculum. We are all focused on academics most of the time. So the first life lesson is don't just make it through each day. Live each day experience each day and celebrate each day. I have always been someone who has been putting things on hold. I will do this once I uh, pass class 12. I will uh, start making friends in college or I will pursue my painting or my creative uh, side once I uh, finish my masters. And this is how it works, isn't it? When we are in um, junior classes, we are told that it's just the board exams you need to pass and then life would be easy. When we are in class 10, it is all about boards and how important boards are and we are all focused. But the moment we pass class 10, 12th is equally difficult making the choices in the stream, whether to go for science or for commerce or for arts. Again, it's a choice. And then it is told that, okay, pass class 12, everything is going to be fine college is hard you have to again pass the examination and then you have to even plan your career what are you going to do ahead and once you get into a job or you start earning money life is never easy you are into a rut caught in a rut it is never easy you're married life is tough you become a parent life is hard you become a grandparent it's even harder basically life never gets easy so why are we waiting for the right time we have to start living each day, celebrate each moment, living each day, whatever we are experiencing, it, let's experience it every day. I have never done it. And now finally, I'm realizing the importance of it and I've stopped putting my feelings, emotions, excitement on hold for the right moment to come. I'm doing it now. This is a very, very important lesson that I've learned a very hard way. The second lesson, and I think this is the one which is very close to my heart, is self-love is always the most important thing. I never knew about self-love until a couple years back. No one ever told me and I never saw anyone in my surroundings loving themselves unconditionally. I have always been told to make sacrifices to keep people around me happy and to make keep making adjustments and compromises in order to make peace with the surroundings. No one ever told me that it's your responsibility to love yourself, to take care of your own self, to make yourself a priority. Only then you'll be able to cater to other people's needs. So I believe the same. I made a lot of sacrifices. I made a lot of compromises and I realized that there is no end to it. You keep adjusting, adjusting and you just kill yourself so you know deeply you, you you're not even yourself your emotions your physical health your mental health is all ruined and you cannot do anything about it because you don't know self-love when i came to know about self-love i started reading more about it books like this uh, vex king's book good vibes good life is all about self-love there are a lot of books which talk about it i started reading more about it and then I realized that it's about keeping yourself happy. It's about loving yourself. Why was I waiting for someone to come into my life and start loving me? I should have started to love myself in the first place. And maybe then people around me would have loved me. I never did that. I wanted people to love me when I was not loving my own self. And that's why I never experienced love. And this is a lesson which I've learned after a lot of, uh, what should I say, not sacrifices, but 
after leaving a lot of lot of things behind after not being able to live a lot of precious moments but yes finally i know about it and i value it and i appreciate it so this is something which i would like to tell you all as well that start loving yourself it's the most important thing and then the third thing which i learned is life doesn't get easier but we as individuals get stronger life never became easy i was waiting for 10th to get over then 12th then college then one masters then another masters then career job starting something of my own my creativity relationships it never got easy in fact it was getting tough every time whenever i was stepping up it was even more difficult it never gets easy and it's getting difficult even now but i have become stronger in the process and that is something which happens with a lot of consciousness if i'm not conscious about my strength i would be only weak i would not realize that yes this is benefiting me so life would not get easy start living it and you'll build the strength you'll keep getting stronger no time no age no stage of your life is easy nothing childhood is difficult because you're so dependent your uh, actions your decisions are all driven by your parents then you get into teenage you are already looked at a rebel looked down upon as a rebel and um, then you become an adult and there are so many other people who are there to take decisions for your life and it it never gets easy no stage is easy old age is difficult middle age is difficult every age is difficult we just have to keep working on becoming stronger and we don't realize it but we are becoming stronger with every pain and suffering all of us are okay the fourth lesson which i learned is that i have to stop seeking validation approval and acceptance from others i was doing it all my life i was always waiting for people to tell me that i'm doing it right i wanted validation from others from people around me people who we were related to the society it was always about acceptance that whatever i decide should be socially acceptable or everybody should approve of it it doesn't work that way sometimes you have to take a decision for yourself and make it work you have to validate it for yourself otherwise you'll miss out on a lot of experiences and miss out on a lot of uh milestones of this journey you'll miss out on a lot so start seeking validation from your own self approve of your own choices and decisions and accept yourself the way you are accept your uniqueness if you are different from others accept it we try to fit in just because i i am a different person i need to be the way everybody wants me to and that kills a lot of happiness i learned it again after losing a lot of lot of moments not living a lot of moments and finally i've learned it and now i'm conscious about it and the fifth very important life lesson is grow through what you go through it is going to be very painful there would be incidents which are very painful immanageable there would be things which you never thought will happen to you there'll be traumas there'll be discrimination there'll be rejections there'll be a lot of suffering and all of us have our share of pain we cannot escape it but grow through it and that's a very recent life lesson which i have learned that things will happen we go through a lot of difficult moments we have to grow through it let the same pain become our power and this is what i'm working on these days i want to make the same pain my strength whatever wrong has happened to me should make me stronger and i am going to grow through that one point only and for that i i've been uh, reading a lot of rumi quotes i've even read a book i think i'll come up with a separate video on rumi quotes which are all about how your pain can become your power how the light enters from where it hurts the most so this is what i'm still working on but that's a great life lesson for all of you i'll repeat that grow through what you go through okay now the sixth which is the last but not the least the life lesson is 
take time to know who you are it's important be happy with your own self because in the end it's only you i never sat with myself to pay attention to who i am my being my existence was always defined by people around me i was not allowed to be me it was always about people telling me what should i do what should i choose my choices my decisions my emotions were all driven by someone else i never sat with myself i never knew who i was what i wanted i was doing things but when there came a time that there was a dark space i was caught into and i did not uh, see any direction i did not know where i was going i realized that i don't even know who i am what do i actually want why have i missed out on so many things then i learned that it's very important to take time to know who you are and for that you have to start spending a lot of me time when i say that start doing what you love to do i know half of you don't even know what you love to do and that's the story with all of us we have to sit with ourselves to know who we are what we love to do what are my things what makes me happy because in the end it's only you every relationship every companionship is temporary no one is going to be with you forever it's all about you you are the one who's going to grow in life you are the one who is going to face all the difficulties you are the one who's going to suffer you are the one who'll experience a lot of pain no one will do it on your behalf so if it's only you then why not start spending time with yourself and that's a very important life lesson i learned it again a very hard way so i wish it was taught to us in school they would have told us how to manage our emotions how to deal with this whole emotional turmoil but yes now i'm learning it and that's why i thought of sharing it with you i hope it will be helpful you will also learn something out of this you'll also be able to work on yourself you'll also be able to make yourself your own priority you'll also be able to fall in love with your own self so let's keep working on our betterment this is again a skill learning different life lessons on your own it's a skill and i always tell you self learning is the best learning so this is something which i've learned on my own this was a part of my self learning so i'll see you in my next video till then let's keep working on ourselves let's keep growing through what we are going through bye bye for now